Hi everyone, today I'm going to do an activity with you that you can do at home with your children. So the activity is to do with nouns and adjectives. So a noun is a person, a place or a thing. So for example, a noun, I'm in this room right now and I'm sitting at a table. So the noun would be a table. And an adjective is a word to describe that table or describe that noun. So for example, the table, the table is smooth. So a way to describe that table is the word smooth and smooth is the adjective, okay? So what I've done is I've printed off a picture from the internet. Um, you don't even, I actually just Googled this image. I, I, type, I typed in the word picture and this is the first thing that came up. You don't actually need to even have the internet. You could actually even look outside the window look at something, look, find some nouns outside the window. You could actually also draw, so you could even draw an image for your child to look at and for your child to identify the nouns. So, now I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. So what you do is you look at the image and you're looking for the nouns within that image. So if I look at this image here, this is an image of a desert. So within the desert, I can see a cactus. So I'd write around the outside. Obviously I'm using a whiteboard. You do not need a whiteboard. As fact, I don't expect you to have a whiteboard. So all you can really need is a piece of paper or even the back of a cereal box. You, wouldn't have to, you don't even have to write this down. This is just a, another option for you. So the first thing I've seen is the cactus. It's one of our nouns here, the cactus. And then the sun. So the sun or the sunset, so sun. Sunset, and also it's quite difficult to see, but we might also talk about the uh, the sand. Right, so now we've got our different nouns. So we've got cactus, we've got sand, we've got the sun, and the sunset. We now want to describe. So we want to do some adjectives to describe those nouns. So, for example, cactus. So at this stage, you'd ask your child, you say. What words can you think to describe a cactus? So if they are year five, year six children, year four, or year four, five and six, they want to be using really big sort of ambitious vocabulary, ambitious adjectives. Um, if they're in year one, year two, you know, you'd have smaller, more sort of simple vocabulary, but really try and push uh, their vocabulary. So if they say something, you think, oh, you can do better than that, just try and really push them and try and encourage them to use the best vocabulary they can. Right, going back to the noun then. So we've got cactus, words to describe that. We could have spiky. Spiky. You could have sharp, perhaps. Sharp, sim similar. But again, if it's something that you feel your child could do better, better than those words, then encourage them to say, have you got any other words? Don't just accept the first one they come up with. So sand. So again, give your child a little bit of time to come up with some ideas. Um, we could have the sand being quite, uh, how can we describe the sand? Hmm. Sort of, could be dangerous perhaps. So you could have, could be something lurking underneath the sand, so dangerous. It could be quite gritty. And then moving on to our other nouns, we've got the sun, the sunset, it's very beautiful. I'd say quite sort of majestic, I'd say as well, it's majestic. It's sort of a big sort of year, you know, year five sort of word there. So once you've got your, your, your nouns and you've also got your adjectives here, adjectives, you're then gonna write sentences um, underneath, so you can do some bit of paper, you can either, or even get your child to verbally say these to you. So let's go for, let's start with cactus. So we've got the spiky, spiky, sharp, similar kind of words there, but it just shows you, it gives you an example here. So the spiky, sharp cactus. And then choose our next noun. I'll just do two for you. So we've got the sand, so we've got the 
dangerous. Gritty. Gritty. Sand. And also, if you are, if your child is a year four, year five child, they should, or year six as well, they should be doing, they should be doing something called an expanded noun phrase, which is basically where you add extra information to your sentence. So if we take the top sentence, so the spiky sharp cactus, so we can add more information there. We could have the spiky sharp cactus. What was it doing? It was, it stood. Could steal a word from earlier as well. It stood majestically. In the glorious, perhaps? Even again, encourage your child to use a range, loads and loads of different vocabulary. In the glorious sunset or the glorious deserts. Yeah, so you could really choose any image you want. So this is obviously just an image, an image of the desert. You could choose any. You could use the ocean. You could have a haunted house. You could literally have whatever image you wanted to. Make it really, really simple. Make it really, really creative. And again, really try and pull it. Um, really try and push and challenge your child.